Hi, my name's Louise Parker. I'm here with Dexter, my 10 year old Basset Hound. And a very healthy boy he was until today. Extreme heat here in my home province, uh, Nova Scotia, on June 7th, 2021. And he was finding some cool comfort under one of our vehicles. So it was a very unusual thing for him to be there. Usually he lays under a tree or comes back into the house. But for some reason he was sound asleep under the truck when, um, when it started up and left. So he has a fractured pelvis, which I've been told is um, one of the better injuries uh, it could have been so much worse, but he's here with us still. It's six weeks of rehabilitation, no surgery for his fractured pelvis. So for six weeks, this is our cozy little environment in this cage. I want to thank my neighbor Doris for loaning me the cage that's going to keep him restricted movement. And um, yeah, I... Uh, had trouble finding any information on how to rehabilitate a dog with a broken pelvis. And it's equally or doubly challenging because he's a male Basset Hound. He's about 55 pounds. And you're not supposed to take them anywhere. They're not supposed to be have any movement. They're not supposed to jump or you know, very restricted movement, though, in order for him to go to the bathroom, I have to carry him outside and set him down to pee or loop a towel or sling on his underbelly and then lift up his hind end and let him waddle out uh, on his front legs while supporting his butt legs. And I've tried that. I just tried that once because we just brought him home this afternoon from the vets. And uh, that didn't go so good. He was not impressed with waddling along with the towel. Plus, a basset hound anatomy, God, they're so low to the ground, the towel was covering the anatomy that he needed to go pee. So, oh, he didn't go pee, so I don't know. Um, we'll be monitoring him. Other than the broken pelvis and depressed state he's in right now, thank God he's still with us because he's an awesome dog. I've had him since he was a little eight-week-old basset hound, and there's nothing cuter than a basset hound puppy. My daughter and I went to have a look at the puppies to make a selection, and, and she had picked out one puppy and was cuddling it, and uh, this one was inching its way towards her like a slug, and, and I told her, Leona, you might have you might have picked that puppy, but this puppy is picking you. So this is the guy we went with, and uh, he's pretty awesome. So we will be rehabilitating him for six weeks. <laughs> COVID restrictions lift, and uh, basset hound restrictions take over. So first night rehabilitating dealing with the broken pelvis. All right, we'll keep you posted. Bye for now.